hello engineers welcome to engineer brandon's tools today we are going to program a microcontroller in assembly in such a way that whenever we press the push button connected to ra0 our led will blink that is whenever we close this circuit our led will blink and whenever we open the circuit our led will stop blinking so we are going to write our code in assembly language So we are going to write our pseudo codes. To write a pseudo code, you should always make sure you leave some space. We are going to write list p equals p sixteen f eighty four a. So this one specifies the type of microcontroller we are going to use. So I'm going to comment type of micro controller then we will go to our next pseudo code we are going to include the microcontroller libraries we are going to say hash include So by doing this we include our microcontroller libraries. Then we are going to set our configurations to the microcontroller. So we are going to put double underscore include underscore I mean config sorry underscore so the one means code programmer so we are going to off the code programmer we are going to off the watchdog timer We are going to include an XT oscillator or a crystal oscillator. And we are going to off our power up timer for the microcontroller. Power timer. So that is it for the directives so we are going to start our programming we are going to say awk then we leave some space 0x00 that is hexadecimal and we'll go to we'll go to the start of the program So here we are going to start our main program start so you notice that you notice that from this schematic we are going to use pin RA0 as input to the microcontroller and we are going to use pin RB0 as output from the microcontroller so we are going to define this as input and this as output so to define pins on the pic 16 f84 microcontroller you do this in what they call the status register so we are going to define them by setting up the status register to set the status register we will just say bit set f rp0 that is we are selecting bank 1 of the status 
so we are going to define our pins directly so you notice that pin ra0 is input so we are going to set this as input bit set f trees a comma zero that is we are setting pin r a zero as input then we are going to set we are going to set pin r b zero as output to do this we are going to clear it by saying be clear f trees b comma zero zero because we are dealing with pin r b zero since we have declared our pins we will now move out of the status register We will now move out of the status register. So to move out of the status register, we will say bit clear f status rp0. That is bank 0 selected. Indirectly is to say move out of status then we are going to write our main program so we are going to program in such a way that whenever the push button connected to the input is pressed the led the light emitting diode is going to shine and whenever it is released the light emitting diode is going to stop shining so we are going to define our main program we are going to define our main program as main then inside this main program we are going to start writing our code so we will say bit set f Port B, comma zero. That is you on the let. B test F and skip if clear. Port A, comma zero. So this one simply means that you should check if R A zero is at logic zero. That is if R A zero is at logic zero. If R A zero is at logic zero, you should skip the following instruction that will come here down. But if R A zero is a logic one you should execute the instruction so if ra0 is at logic zero it means no input is being sent so the instruction that has to be skipped is to on the led sorry here was bit clear f bit clear f we should off the led that is initially the led is off i don't know if you understand so initially the led is off then you should test port a test pin r a zero if it is clear or if it is set if it is clear you should execute you should ignore this this other instruction that is if it is clear don't on the led but if it is set you should on the led by executing this one
so if it is clear you should skip this instruction but if it is said you should execute this if r a 0 is clear skip this instruction if r a 0 is set execute it so i don't know if you understand these three lines they simply define that is initially you should clear port b that is you should off the lead then be test f and skip if clear you should test for port a that is pin r a zero and skip this instruction if it is clear but if it is not clear it means it is receiving a signal it means you should execute this instruction which says you should on our let so if it is clear you should skip this instruction and what you are going to execute is you're simply going to go back to the main program that is if it is clear skip this instruction and come here execute this that is go to main that is, should go back to the main and start it all over then we are going to end our code so that is it for the code so you can post the video you can post the video and try to copy the code and understand so I'm going to teach you how to use MPLAB. So that is it for our code. So we are going to save this document and we are going to run its code on MPLAB and see how it will work. So we are going to save it. We are going to save it with extension.asm. So I'm just going to call it blink dot asm. So now we are going to open MPLAB. I'm going to show you how to set up a project in MPLAB. So initially when you open MPLAB, here is the window that you get. So we are going to create a new project. To do that, we go to project project wizard next so we will select our type of microcontroller that we are going to use so in this case we are using the pic 16 f84 so you can see you can notice that there are different varieties of microcontrollers but in this case we are using this so we go to next we leave everything as default we write our project name blink then we select our directory so here is our ASM file inside our folder so we will select our ASM file so that we are going to compile it you select it then you click next then you finish so here is our ASM file that we have selected so we double click then here is our code that we just wrote in notepad so you notice that things at the most left hand side are of a different color while things in the second column are of different color and things of the third column are also of different color so we are going to maintain that So we are going to run our code. Let us build our code. So it says there is an error. Let us check. So here of error symbol not previously defined CP of that is our code programmer. So here is our problem. We forgot an underscore here. So let us run. So you notice that a green light was highlighted. It means our project 
project has been built in successfully so we are now going to link this code with our schematic in Proteus so when this code was run on MPLAB there is this file that they call the hex file here is it with name bling.hex it was generated in the same folder where this project was saved so we are going to link that hex file to our pic16 so here is the hex file so in Proteus you can post the video and draw the schematic so to link to link our hex file we will double click on our pic16 f84a so you notice that we have here program file so we are going to include our program file which is our hex file so here is it they are both in the same folder that is why it was easily found so we will double click on our hex file then we will click ok so we have loaded we have, we have just loaded our code into the microcontroller so now let us run let us run our simulation and see so you notice that the push button is not connected that is the switch is open so the light will not blink so let us close the switch and see what will happen so you notice that when we have closed the switch our led is shining so let us open the switch so you notice that whenever you open the switch the led will off whenever you close it the led will shine then here we have what we call reset button if we press on this button it's going to reset our code that is you make our code to start from the beginning so in this case it does not have any grade use but with time we are going to further our projects we are going to do more heavy and complicated and more interesting projects so that is it for this project thank you for watching my video thank you very much please don't forget to like my videos share and subscribe thank you